This is Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada for the UFC 130 fight between Rampage Jackson and Matt the Hammer Hamill. Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here with Travis Brown. Travis, congratulations on the victory in, in very good form, I must say. Can you uh, please just kind of take us back through uh, the setup for that huge knockout? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was something that me and my coaches worked on, something that I've seen in his past fights that, you know, when he comes in, he leaves himself exposed. Um, and so it was actually part of our part of our, uh, our, our strategy to attack hard, break off, kind of shake it out, and then get back at work. So, because um, every time he'd separate, he comes in and he leaves himself exposed. He has a lot of, like, uh, because he's so long that he, he like, kind of, reaches out or drops his hands or leaves a lot of stuff that you can see in the cage so um, um, you know once once I started getting his timing his speed and all that kind of stuff it was, it was something I picked up. Struve is six foot eleven uh, can you please discuss just a little bit about the preparation going into this fight facing somebody of, of that height? Um, you know it, it, like, like I said it's so tough to find somebody um, to spar with that 611 has that reach, you know what I mean? And, and so we weren't able to do that. We did bring in some bigger guys about my size, maybe a little bit smaller, um, just to get the weight and, the, and, and used to f sparring and fighting bigger guys. But it was something that took me most of the round to get his timing, to get you know how long he is and his jab and his kicks. And you know he tried to he tried to do a little Leo Machida on me, you know what I mean? I was, I was gonna thank Chuck Norris after my fight too, just to just to you know put a little fire out there, but I didn't. So, um, but uh, you know. It was just one of those things that, uh, you know, I just, uh, it took me about three, three and a half minutes to figure it out. There was one key person that you thanked after the fight. Um, who was that? And, and just a little bit uh, about that person, what they've meant to, and to your life and career. Yeah. <laughs> They've, um, you know, they, they've been there for me and, and unconditionally. You know what I mean? I've been, I've been through ups and downs um, in my life. And, and um, um, one second. And then, um, and so, you know, uh, this man right here, he's taken me in, um, been there for me emotionally, spiritually, um, physically, like room, you know, helped me room and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, he, he meant everything to me. He's going through a hard time in his life. I just want to dedicate this fight to him because he means the world to me. Uh, who would you like to fight next? Um, like, I, you know, in the, in the press conference, I was saying, you know, we have the best matchmaker, Joe Silva, to do his job. So, you know, I'm going to let him do his job and, uh, and, 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 you know, set me up. He's done a great job my last three fights, um, and, and we see what's happened. Uh, one, uh, one last question. We saw you were sitting about two seats away from Rampage during the press conference, and you guys were both kind of doing that little I am watching you thing. What, uh, what was going on between the two of you during the press conference? Uh, you know, we just joke around. You know what I mean? <laughs> the guy, he's, he's, he's a great guy, and he's hilarious. And, you know, and, uh, you know he's definitely a guy that I've looked up to you know, in my career as well. So, yeah. Thank you so much for the time. Congratulations on the big win. Great job. Great.